Hello and welcome to BMC Helix Video Solutions. In this video, we will learn about how to register source and target remedy systems in Helix Data Manager tool. HDM is able to interact with remedy system that have been registered. You may not perform discovery or data migration activities until the remedy system is correctly registered. Hence, to perform data migration through HDM tool, it is necessary to register source and target system. Source system is referred as from system through which data is being migrated. Target system is referred as to system into which data is getting pushed. To register source and target system, we need to first log in into HDM tool. So enter your credential and click on login. Once we click on login, we will come to home page of BMC Helix Data Manager. Need to click on setup wizard. Here we will get two options, analyze remedy system, migrate data. We need to select second option. Once we click on migrate data, we need to select register source and target system option. Click on it. On system configuration page, we need to click on plus sign to register source system. Once we click on plus sign, we need to give the description of source system. Need to select type. So here in this case, I am selecting remedy type as we need to register ITSM. For other option, we can select the individual product based on our need. Environment need to keep default. ARS version, we can select 9.1. Location need to keep local. System type, we can select development. In database section, we need to enter DB details. So I'm selecting MS SQL as my database is SQL. We can select other option based on the requirement. Instant name need to provide detail of source DB. HDM user field is name of the database user that HDM will use to access the remedy database server and the underlying remedy database. The manual database configuration script typically use HDM as the database username. So we need to enter this detail, enter password and if we scroll up we will see the check mark sign, need to click on save option. Once we click on save option, the source system will get registered. Similarly, we also need to register target system. After registering target system, we will see two entries on the system configuration page. One for source system and another for target system. Thank you for watching this video.